Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Thanks for being here. We're going to have a nice, relaxing time. Go ahead and find a comfortable spot. Today I'm going to um, say some things and uh, to, to end today's sort of ancestral grounding prayers, spiritual prayers. All you have to do is listen and then I'll give you a few things to, to cues. But right now your job is just to, the best way you can participate is to get in a comfortable spot and allow what needs to come in, to come in. And I'm just sharing on Facebook here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think, actually, I think, did I share this correctly? <laughs> you all know me in technology. <laughs> okay, all right, here we got it. Oh, I have a feline friend who wants some space next to me. Oh, he left. Okay. So, hello, hello, welcome. We'll get started in just a minute because I know some people told me they were going to be here. Right now, you can breathe, get yourself into a comfortable spot, chill out. If you're watching a replay, say hello in the comments. Reciprocate, help me boost the video by doing that. Today's going to be real simple. All I want you to do is just listen and uh, receive the message. And then we'll get into our nine minutes of breath and gratitude after that. Welcome, welcome one, welcome all. Get yourself into a comfortable spot. And my name, I'll give you some information before we start. If you're just now seeing this video in a replay, you can fast forward for about a minute while we welcome people in. You can fast forward for just about like a minute or so. I'm gonna keep welcoming people in. Hello, hello, Raylin. Hello, welcome. I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. I'm going to do some card reading polls later today. I'm not exactly sure what time. Probably sometime after like, probably sometime after like, I don't know, 12, between 12 and 3 PST, PM PST on my Alexandra Loves page. So come back for that if you can. Welcome all. I see there's a, there's people coming in, so we're going to get started in just a minute here. I'll give you information, though, before we start. And that is, my name is Alexandra Loves. Uh, I'm an initiated spiritual worker and a guide, a coach, a mentor. I I coach and I and I mentor uh, people on their spiritual journey. I coach and I mentor, mentor coaches. Um, I uh, help people create the life they want by being exactly who they are. I work mostly with women, but I work with men, too. And I also uh, do anti-racist work uh, from a spiritual perspective. And I do that with individuals. And I also do that with groups. I come into groups and communities and, and, and help them as well. What you need to know right before we get started here, because right now as I'm talking, breathe. Get yourself into a comfortable position today. It's going to be real simple for you. I'm just going to speak some messages to you and ask you to, to repeat what resonates with you. Um, and then we'll get into our breathing exercise. Um, for those of you who are right now in a position where you're like, I really want to manifest something. Uh, this thing that I've been longing for and dreaming about in my life, I think now is the time to get started. And whether or not you want to get started in a gentle way or just like go full speed ahead, you know it's time to, to get started. You feel that. For those of you in positions where you can feel things welling up in you, whether it's your 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 you know sensitivities or or um, or sort of wisdom, 
that's bubbling up in you and you're just like, whoa, something's changing, something's shifting, right? For those of you who want to be very clear on who you are and why you're here and what's this all about. And lastly, for all of you who are like feeling the toxic patterns and the wounds that have been passed on to you, for those of you who can't break out of those things in your life, the best way to work on those things, as far as I'm concerned, the most important way to work on those things is working with your ancestors and your higher self, your spirit. And I'm telling you uh, now, because I, I probably am not going to mention it again throughout the video, but um, if you want to work on that, if you want to work through that, first, follow my page, Alexander Loves. I talk about this stuff all the time. But second, uh, you know, we are two days away from my course starting working with your ancestors and spirit. It's an online course. You move at your own pace. But for 2020, July 5th, Sunday, I start doing live mentorship. And we do that all the way through half of August. And in that course, we do we, we do building an altar and uh, and working with our ancestral wounds and building a relationship with our ancestors and calling in our spirit, integrating with our spirit. This is how you, you can't manifest things without knowing your spirit. Okay. We work with our inner child. We start, we start the, the we do the starts of the, the, uh, the inner child work and the, and we do shadow work in that course and the courses move at your own pace. So you can, you can do it however you want to do it. Um, I'm just letting people know, cause I start live mentorship in that course on Sunday. So check it out. It's in the, it's in the uh, post, this post, I put the, the link. Um, and if that doesn't feel good to you, then come follow my page, Alexander Loves. Come hang out or go to alexanderlovescut.com and get my free class about releasing toxicity. Okay, so we're going to get started. I said all the announcements. Everybody is here. I see people are still coming in. Welcome. Thank you. If you're here in a replay, here we go. We're starting. All right. So I want to tell you a story and here's where you breathe and you sit back and you relax. And when it's time for you to say something in agreement, I will let you know. So you've may maybe you've heard me tell this story before and I'm going to tell you again in the spirit of forgiveness and gratitude. I'm going to tell you the story about how you were made and and throughout the story, I'm going to lace in um, certain principles that we need to have when dealing with the divine, with our ancestors, with spirits, with deities. And um, this would be the beginning of your relation. This is what you would do if you were starting to build your relationship. You're starting to want to use your divine team to manifest what it is that you want or heal something. Um, this is this is the, the foundational, these are the foundational skills that you would start with. So as you're taking a deep breath, allow yourself to visualize yourself in a natural place, wherever that is. And by natural, I mean the beach or the mountains or forest. It could be a specific place that you've been to, a place in nature. It is sort of the organic way of life to find your healing and your solutions and manifesting what you want through nature. Connecting with the divine gift of this earth. Oh, taking a deep expansive breath while you're sitting in nature. And I want you to imagine two groups of beings your ancestors and your spirits. And when I say ancestors, you might think in your mind, like, oh, my grandmother and a couple of people who came over, you know, the first people in, in the country that I, I live in right now, um, maybe a couple aunts and uncles, pictures you've seen. But remember that you have thousands, 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 thousands of years of ancestors. So imagine these beings showing up. Maybe some have faces, but some are unknown. 
So here are these beings and they have a set of desires and wishes and dreams. Think of them in pure light. Think of them as, as loving. Here they are and they meet up with some spirits. Also beings that have been living for millennia, millennia, millennia in different dimensions and have uh, different accesses to and relationships with, uh, uh, with a source, with goddess, with God, aspects of deity, whatever that means to you. Vibration, vibrational beings of different colors and aspects and uh, uh, feelings and emotions that we recognize and also that we have not been able to recognize yet. I think that covers it. <laughs> so these beings all come together. Okay, this is a divine congregation. And here, please repeat after me. I am a creation of a divine congregation. I am a creation of a divine congregation. So this divine congregation came together and they made a decision. And that decision was to create you. Specifically you, not some person, not a human being, Maybe a girl, I don't know. Maybe somebody who's tall, no. Specifically, you. I was made specifically, repeat after me. I was made specifically. I was made on purpose. I was made on purpose. So they got together this divine congregation and they made you. And here I'm gonna remind you to breathe. Please breathe through this. Allow it to come in, relax. Welcome who's, who's showing up. Welcome to the new people showing up. I see you, hello. So they made a spirit, which is you, your higher self, who you are. They made a spirit, which is you specifically and on purpose. And here you are, this spirit, full of light and full of love, vibrating with all the potential to fulfill everything that's in your destiny, your destiny being your purpose and your nature. And here you can say, repeat after me, I am a being of light. I am a being of light. I vibrate with high potential. I vibrate with high potential. So the spirit, that's who you are, made by this congregation of divine beings, then enters into a body, which is the body you're in right now. You, you human, have this this divine, vib high vibrational spirit inside you. And within your spirit, which is who you really are, is destiny. I have destiny. Repeat after me. I have destiny. I have destiny. Now your destiny is your nature and your purpose which is led by you. It's a destiny, when we're talking about destiny here, it's not a very specific thing that has to happen in a way that's logical and linear. We're just talking about your nature and your purpose. And with your nature and purpose that was given to you by this divine congregation are gifts and blessings. Repeat after me, I have gifts and blessings. I have divine gifts and blessings. I am purposefully made. I am high vibration. I'm a high vibrational being. And I have gifts and blessings. 
So you have your destiny, which is your purpose in nature. And that purpose in nature comes with gifts and blessings. And yes, it can also come with burdens and you can work through those. And those gifts and blessings, sometimes those burdens, come down through your spirit, which is why we integrate with our spirit, which is why it's important to know our spirit and align with our spirit. And so when you want to heal something, when you want to manifest something, when you feel a desire in this life, know that all of that comes through from your, through your spirit, from your ancestors and your, your ancestors and your spirits that made you this divine congregation. You are your ancestors. You are your spirits. And here you can say, I am my ancestors. I am my spirits. I am a divine being. You were created with these desires so that you could fulfill them. The healing you want, the things you want to manifest the experiences that you seek. You were given the very best chance. Not only were you, do you have the same desires as these ancestors and these spirits, but they had the wisdom and the knowledge of the time you would be born in, this time right now. They created you specifically for this time right now. Remember, you were made on purpose. You were made specifically. You were made with specific desires that are the desires of your ancestors and your spirits. You can have those desires fulfilled. My desires may be <laughs> my desires may be fulfilled. Repeat after me. My desires may be fulfilled. My desires may be fulfilled. And taking a big, deep breath here. Acknowledging this divine connection. I acknowledge this divine connection I have with my ancestors. These ancestors and these spirits may have not been getting attention from you or anybody in their family for many generations. The ways of connecting with our ancestors and our spirits are severed from us. There was a time in your family line when these things were dropped or they were taken away or people were stolen and they didn't know. And so though it might not be our fault, we do ask for forgiveness for not being in this relationship, for not acknowledging our spirits and ancestors and the gift of life they gave us. Please forgive me, forgive my family. Repeat after me, please forgive me, forgive my family for not being in this relationship. Please forgive me, forgive my family for not being in this relationship with you, my ancestors and spirits. And lastly, thank you for this gift of life. Thank you for giving me the wisdom. Thank you for giving me the blessings and the gifts to fulfill our desires. Thank you for this gift of life. Repeat after me. Thank you for this gift of life. And breathing, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> So this is the beginning, understanding that very simple story. There is more to the story, but this is just sort of the simple beginning of this story that I am inviting you to understand and embody. The story of how you're made, why you're here, where your desires come from, your po the possibility you have to fulfilling these desires.
acknowledging a relationship that has been that you don't that you might not have the knowledge of that maybe has been taken away from you right and ultimately if you decide and when you decide to build this relationship watching your life evolve in a way that makes more sense to your heart and your soul okay so now we'll move into our nine minutes of breath um oh one last thing i'll say is I've been getting questions about like some of the things that I say and by all means DM me because I'm always available. You can DM me. There's no question too small. Um, you can contact me through my Alexandra loves page. Uh, but also if you wish to continue that work, you know what to do. We start class on Sunday. Uh, it is filling up. I'm really excited to, to work with you. It's a move at your own pace class. Okay, working with your ancestors and spirit, you can find it over at alexanderloves.com and I put it in the, this post itself. Okay. Nine minutes of breath and gratitude and thank you. Thank you for who's showing up. I guess we have we have uh, Joe and Alia and Tara. Um, I can't see who's coming in from the other group, but welcome. Welcome whoever's coming in from gods and goddesses raising vibrations. Thank you for being here. Nine minutes of breath. Okay, so we do nine minutes of breath over on my Alexander Loves page every day except for Sunday. And on Fridays, we do this longer session that's about, uh, I'm trying to keep it to half hour. Sometimes we go a little bit over. Uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for the thumbs up and the, and the hearts and the likes and everything. Thank you. If you missed part of this, I, these live on my Alexander Loves page. So you can go back. There's You can just see them. There's videos after videos, right? Okay. So nine minutes of breath and gratitude we do a real simple breath here uh for this for purposes of this this uh practice um when you inhale at the top of your inhale sip in a little bit more air we're practicing expansion at the bottom of your inhale, you're going to squeeze out whatever is sort of like hanging out in your lungs we're going to get started because i'm noticing the time we're going to get started right into it we'll do this for nine minutes and i'll give you prompts for gratitude and remembering why we do this breath and the for, for the first uh, few breaths i'll exaggerate it so you can see what it is that i'm i'm talking about for those of you who are new welcome back welcome back people who've who've been doing <laughs> these breaths uh with me and coming to this this friday you know ancestral meditation prayers okay We'll get started right now. Nine minutes. This is your self-care for the day. Hopefully you'll have another session of self-care again later. <laughs> okay, so inhaling. Beautiful. <sighs> remember i'm just exaggerating so you can see what i'm talking about with this more expansive breath you're sipping in more air when you think you're done with your inhale you're sipping in a little more air at the bottom of your exhale you're squeezing out a little bit more emptying out your lungs right? So this is the breath and you'll continue on with that. For those of you who are uh, new to this practice that we do, this is why we, we look for expansion at the top of this inhale. Because if you look at our body, our body is technology that was made uh, divinely. And if you're ever looking for answers, if you're ever looking for what you want to create or healing, the technology of understanding if you ever want to understand anything in this universe, the technology is in us. We are a manifestation of, of how this universe works, right? 
And um, if you're trying to heal something or create something, if you're looking for solutions, it always, the evidence of it lives in your body and then in the function of your body, how your body's made. And when we ask, we get to the end of that inhale, inspiration, life, answers, expansion. We get to the top of that inhale and we ask for more, more room to grow, more inspiration, allowing more space. It's, it's evidence and a practice that we, we can cause that. It can be our will to have the more expansion, more solutions, more, more, um, more healing. We can cause that. We are the leads in our life. We can expand. There is more room to grow. And at the bottom of our exhale, the reason that we are in practice of letting go, of taking out what we don't need, you know, pushing out what we don't need at the bottom of our exhale is to remind us to one, not hold on to what we don't need. Okay, we're, we're constant, we're, we're kind of conditioned to hold on to things that we don't need. Take on identities that don't quite fit us. Hold, hold the pain of other people. Not allow our own pain to move through us in a way. To be stuck. We get stuck a lot in energy. We get stuck a lot in emotions. So at the bottom of that exhale, when we get there and we're squeezing out whatever else is in there, it's a practice and it's a reminder that says, I can let go of what I don't need. I want room to grow, so I need to let go of what I don't need. I'm looking for inspiration. I can let go of what doesn't fit, which closes me off. That's why we practice this, this oh, so simple breath. There's so many breath exercises we could be doing, but this one is simple, accessible. You can do it any time. Right here, right now, in the grocery store, when you're hanging out with your kids, in the car, when you get out of your car, when you get into your car, in the shower. Now we just have four more minutes. We're just over halfway through. Focus back in on this. Let this be your time. Don't think about anything else. If you have to think about something else, just note it for later. Just say, I'm noting that. I'll come back later. I, I get it. I know that's important. I'll come back to that later. Let it move through. Right now is the time for breath. Right now, you probably can feel some waves of relaxation. Allow a feeling of gratitude to well up in you about having this time, about having this time for relaxation, about having this time to focus on you It is not a luxury to take care of yourself. It is critical. It is a necessity. It is vital, especially in these times. Oh, my nose itches. And in these last two minutes, as you continue on with this expansive breath, focusing on something that you are grateful for. 
we know we're grateful for this breath. You could be grateful for an experience you had this week. The health of your family. You could be grateful for the love that you experience. The kitty cat in your lap. And for those of you who are struggling and are having a really hard time and feeling really low, I acknowledge that the validity of your struggle, it's real, it's what's real. And believe me, I, ha I can understand on some level of being in a position where it's hard to be grateful and so for those of you who are there, pick a color. I'm grateful for the color purple. I'm grateful that there was a meal for me today. Pick something so small. I'm grateful that my eyes open and I can see. I'm grateful that I decided to stay another day. I'm grateful for the ground I sit on. Just something small. And finding our last few expansive breaths in this session that we're in today. And uh, I'll give you my last thoughts here. Friends, we're in a time where we are all being called to be exactly who we are, to let our gifts come forward to be in our power, to build community, to collaborate, to build a new world that's better than the one we've been living in, and it's possible. And to do this, we have to remember that this is a long haul. It's not gonna happen in a few months. We have at least four, moon, four more moons of intense pressure that we're feeling right now. And then it's going to let up. And in that time when it starts to let up a little bit, it's going to let up a little bit, that is when you will have a chance to really flourish in what it is that you're creating. I suggest you work on creating you. That's how you create a new world. You, you recreate yourself. And that reverberates out into your community, your family, your communities, and, and then eventually legislation and, and how we create our structures. Now is the time to work on you. Now is the time to work with your ancestors and spirit. And I told you how you can do that. You can DM me or you can check out my class on my website. And lastly, reciprocation. Part of living well is reciprocation. If you got value in this video or anything that you see me do, I ask that you reciprocate. Thank you for your reciprocation. This is how you can do it. You can put tons of comments in my videos. That boosts them. You can uh, share with friends by message sharing or putting their names in the video. You can share on your wall with a personal message. And yeah, you can also donate. I put in the comments, how do I put in the post itself, how to donate, that's also okay. Whatever works for you, whatever feels good for you in your heart, please do reciprocate. I appreciate you for that. Big love, I'll see you tomorrow. We're just here for about 12 minutes. Uh, we'll do nine minutes of breath and gratitude. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those who are new. I love you. And for those of you returning, thank you for coming back. Mwah. All right. Bye-bye.